Currently, it's a few days before the new year and your house is still filled with all those Christmas treats. And I hope this video can help all of you messaging me needing some advice and help on what to do between now and New Year's to help get you back on track. First and foremost, your body doesn't have a calendar. So the best time to actually start working on your fitness goals or health goals is now, not January 1st, not Monday, not Tuesday, now. Perpetuating the cycle of negative habits, eating shitty food is just going to sink you deeper into the hole that you are trying to get out of. And if you do not start now, you are just going to feel even crappier about yourself tomorrow. So why wait? If you don't start today, then you're just reinforcing those negative habits that kept you stuck in the first place. What you do want to reinforce is how good you are going to feel in two days tomorrow because you have broken that negative cycle and you need to set those intentions for yourself and put them into action because you know it's what your body needs. Second tip would be to understand the difference between encouraging advice and not so encouraging advice that may be harmful towards your fitness goals. As you start getting more fit, more confident, you increase your muscle tone, you will get comments, you will hear gibberish, from people whose opinion you really do respect and value on other topics. When your mother says, here is a useful tip for keeping your avocados fresh, do this, that is A-OK. -okay. But if your mom says, ooh, you've definitely lost weight, are you sure this is healthy? You want to flag in your head that that is gibberish. You really want to hear the comments and then take a step back and reassess. For example, if you've been told that exercising daily, putting your food into an app to see if you're hitting the amount of protein that you're supposed to for your body and to see if you're eating enough food to support your goals is disordered or unhealthy, well, take a step back and assess, like, is this opinion even relevant? Like, are these people in shape? I might sound harsh, but it is better than any response that you are going to be told. And if you are sitting beside Uncle Bob that is 30 pounds overweight, well, you can just tell him that he should probably look after his nutrition as well. Also, a lot of people will reflect their insecurities onto you. So for example, if they know that they are doing something wrong and they see that you are doing something right by taking care of your nutrition, tracking your meals, etc., then they are likely going to bash you for it because it's something that they should be doing as well. The next tip is to set yourself up for success now by creating good habits. Goals are great, but if you don't have the habits to get you there, then it's useless. What I would advise you to do is go and do a to-do list and honestly just write down the things that you have to do for the day and then plan when you are going to be working out, getting a walk in, planning your meals, meal prepping, whatever you have to do in order to achieve those goals. If you don't schedule it in like a meeting at work, it's not likely for you to actually do the thing that you're supposed to do. Another tip that may seem obvious is to just get rid of the shit in your house that you don't need and the ones that really don't, ones that don't support your goals. So if you have kids and you buy snacks for them, why are you even buying them snacks in the first place? You, they should be eating fruits and vegetables to begin with, they shouldn't be having granola bars or bars that, you know, just give them a big insulin spike and then have them crash later on, right? So just get rid of the shit. Like teach your family healthy habits because they will adopt them slowly. And if you can't do this cold turkey, then of course wean them off of these like granola bars or whatever it is that you feed your kids, you know? So that's one tip. But another tip would just be to drink lots and lots of water. I know that days after Christmas, you probably feel bloated, you feel lethargic, right? And you just want to feel better. And water is so important for your body. I hope these tips really help you out. That's it for me, guys. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time. Bye.